25th of July, I had asked question about uh, cement retention. And uh, following up that, I started practicing it and also try to transmute it, that energy. And what I experienced, which I never experienced previously when I tried uh, cement retention, is that this time uh, when there was uh, possibilities where I felt that while I was sleeping, that uh, I may get a wet dream or something like that, I was woken up. And it happened over multiple times. And almost two months later, I happened to eat outside. Still this time, I was just eating home-cooked food. And that particular night, I did had a wet dream. So I wanted to understand these two things that what was happening in terms of where I was getting woken up where it felt like everything is helping me to to continue on that while when I, I was in a restaurant and I ate there and that night it didn't happen when a seeker starts to practice retention of the semen within the system, it means he or she. For a female, it's of course a different composition, but it's similar in terms of the energy contained within the fluid. The system at first is in a state of insecurity, because it's something unknown to the system that the seminal fluids are retained. But after a while, what happens is that pulling that energy upward creates a sort of a heat in the system, tapas shakti is created in the system. And as you pull this energy higher and higher, it turns from a shadow state into a twilight state and then you pull it up even higher and then it turns into a state of light. And then into the fiery light and then you pull it even higher and it becomes the electricity, electric light, actual electricity in the body. And at one point, by the time it reaches the top of your body, it turns into an incandescent light, you know. In the history of spirituality, the aim of pulling that upwards was actually to create an opening in the system so that the awareness could leave, could transcend the system and move into cosmic states of experience, samadhi experiences, where the awareness moved further and further away from the body into subtle and even more subtle states where there was no experience of the body anymore, just a sort of a entity and then at one point not even that entity. And what happens is that when the practitioner, when the seeker is actually trying to keep this energy within the system, the processes that happen are different. Because when you're leaving the system and going into those Samadhi states, there's not much control in the body anymore and that's when even the greatest of spiritual masters have spoken about the fact that they then had those wet dreams. But what is happening now, especially when the Self-Realization processes are, are taking over from the Enlightenment processes, the 
energy stays within the system, it keeps the awareness within the system and it pushes that energy, that, that force of consciousness into the very materiality of the body into the cells, they become more conscious, they become more aware the emotional part of the being becomes deeper, wider, stronger and there is more mastery and so also with the conceptual so what happens is that the body itself is supporting that action because it knows that if it releases outward then there is no force left in the system to go into Self-realization, because the Samadhi state is not the aim which is why you are supported in those processes by the body itself waking you up before that wet dream happens but if you, let's say, go out and eat some food and the person that cooked that food had some extreme sexual energies in their system while they were cooking that food, there is a transmission that occurs into the very materiality of that food, an energetic transmission and when you eat that food, that energy is taken over by your system and then you're not, of course, in a position to defend against the impact of that energy so it will cause something like that to happen because it's an overwhelming sexual desire-based force that has been taken into the system so it will cause that desire to be fulfilled especially if you've been holding back for long enough or not having the, the release so those are the mechanisms and especially now, as more and more seekers tune into the Self-Realization processes these phenomena will show themselves very crassly, almost so that's why it happened that way yes